where do we sell the beef uh, to the market? I don't sell direct to abs. I sell them to the market. Big day in town, yes. I uh, wouldn't well, know. I'm not in Warrigal, babe. I may not score in points on those things. Thanks. What's your favourite cut of meat? Mine's ribeye. I actually don't eat beef, so none of it. <laughs> I just grow them, give them a happy life in the process while they try to fucking kill me. And then I send them off. Let your feminine shine through. Babe, that's why I gotta put makeup on. I got a deep fucking voice. If I didn't put makeup on, people would think I'm a bloke. Good eye, Mike. There you go. I just got a deep voice naturally. Whereas like the rest of my family are like, actually no, that's a lie. The rest of my family have deep voices as well. I'm not one of those girly girls that's like, hey guys, welcome to Oh, I just cracked my neck. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> fucking paralyzed myself on fucking live. But um, yeah, I have quite a deep voice, so. <laughs> I can't believe I cracked my neck. Who's my dad? The sperm donor. Am I from Emerald? No. Do you get a sore back? Um, my family actually has a history of back issues. So, um, yeah, I get a sore back regularly, you know. You just got to go to sleep, take some Panadol and fall asleep. What sign am I? Like star sign? I think I'm a Libra. Is that what a star sign is? Thanks. I'm good, thank you. Need more females in the industry. There's actually, um, I don't know if you're a part of the females in agriculture, so, uh, like page on Facebook, go, but go, go check it out. There's actually a lot of females in agriculture, but I suppose they don't get themselves out there, you know? And that's why I have TikTok and Instagram, because I'm like, you can also be a boss bitch and run your own farm, just like me. Uh, 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 uh. I was born in 99, so I'm just in the fucking 1900s, you know? <laughs> Need, sorry? Say that again. Need more females back to having families and setting the world back to balance. No, the fucking world is overpopulated. I personally don't really want children. But if I do have children, I'll have like seven, you know, because I was from a big family and that's not going to help the overpopulous situation, you know. But, um, no, the world's overpopulated. I wish people would stop. 11-11, make a wish. Sweet. Anyway, um... I heard footsteps. Check the Chinese Zodiac for 1999. I'll check for ya. Thank you. I have four kids. Don't do it. Mm. Underpopulation. Fuck no. Why do you think they brought out fucking COVID and mass fucking genocide and shit? Because we're overpopulated, so they're trying to kill us all. <sighs> I know, every time I- Look, it's still 11 11! Make a wish again! What the fuck? Been 11 11 for like two minutes now. It's a little sus. I'm just gonna keep wishing until it's gone. There we go. Not on the farm today. Nah. No. Almost died yesterday. The cunts had me up the fucking rail, so I'm taking a break. They can chill out, I can chill out. I didn't have a prodder on me either too, so it was a bit more dangerous. I was in the yards and they're fucking eyeballing me and putting their head down and they were with their calves so you know they're even more protective and I was like just fucking Christ I'm gonna die right before Christmas what the fuck I can't die before Christmas maybe after but not before any plans after the shops today no nah, not really not really you're the rabbit in the Chinese what does that mean you're the rabbit what do you think of city blokes I don't really think about city blokes if I'm being honest I don't really think about blokes in general. Buzz, fuck off. Leave the cat alone. Thanks. 
Which type of farm? I'm on a beef farm. I run my own beef cattle. Las Vegas. Do you use the product? Fuck, are you? Yeah. Are you kidding me? These cunts are running full bore right here. It's good to just. Don't even come at me for the fucking animal abuse. The c human abuse. The cunt's trying to kill me. Human abuse. Fuck me. Do you get many brown snakes on your farm? Nah, I haven't seen one yet. Touch wood. It means avoid your enemy, yeah, and don't make rash decisions in, what? Babe, my life is rash decision. <laughs> Every decision I make is a rash decision. <sighs> you get your sisters working out in the farm with you yet? Nah, none of my sisters are farming. Actually, one of them is, but um, she's got her own farm to look after. The rest are just stay-at-home mums. How long have you been working in agriculture? I was born on a farm, so I've always been a farmer. I was born into it. Thank the Lord, because I don't know what else I would do. I'm so passionate about farming. If I was born in the city, I think I'd, I would have carked it by now, because I'd be like, what am I going to do with my life? <sighs> I love living on a farm. Absolutely love it. Would not be doing anything else. Do I ride horses? Yes, I do. Should have got to go soon. Oh. Is it weird having Xmas in the summer? Nah, I feel like it would be weird if it was cold. Like, I love Christmas on a stinking hot fucking day. Like, you wake up, we wake up at like 4 a.m., honestly. Um, you know, wake the parents up, you know, even though I'm 24 years old. And I'm like, can I open my prisons yet? <laughs> Can I open my stocking? Um, you know, and the parents do the parenty thing where they won't get out of bed until you make them a cup of coffee and they can sit in their bed for a little bit, you know. Anyway, um, I'll never grow out of this. I'll do this until the day I fucking die. Even if I have kids, I'll still be like, can I open my presents yet? Anyway, um, you know, get up and then eventually everyone rocks around about like, I don't know, seven, eight, nine in the morning, like the rest of the family, because I have a huge family. Um, and then we'll have breakfast around like 11 a.m., have some croissants, mango, all that, have a little sleep, you know, because we're a bit tired. Um, and then we wake up and we have some lunch and then we'll have another sleep. Oh, I forgot the present, unwrapping presents in the morning. But, um... Yeah, I love bloody Christmas in the summer because you can go outside and use your bloody, you know, usually we get like um, activities for outside, like, you know, games and stuff because we have such a big family. Can you hear my dog? <gasps> anyway, sorry, I've missed a few comments. Oh, shit, they're coming in hot. What's the hardest part of running a farm or the one you wish the government would do to help? Um, I don't really get any help from the fucking government. I mean, I don't really listen to what they fucking tell me and tell me not to do. You know, I kind of just run it and I'm like, fuck you guys. Um, the hardest part. Oh, shit. I don't know. I love the whole thing. I mean, when you run out of feed, it's a bit stressful, you know? Oh shit. Fucking close. Um. Losing calves. Yeah, we've lost a few heifers. Prolapsed after having their calf. I have beef cattle. I, so I grew up doing dairy farming, quit it when I was about 21, so I hated it, but I grew up doing dairy farming, so like even as a fucking five-year-old, I'd accompany mum and dad to like fucking help out at the dairy, um, and I hated every minute of it, <laughs> so I was like, you know what, fuck it, I want to do beef, because it's a little more relaxed, you know, I'm like driving a tractor, I'm like fucking snacking on food non-stop, you know, doing whatever the fuck I want, um, and yeah, I love it. Fuck, I love it. But, um, yeah. 
Have you ever had any cows mysteriously mutilated? No. I did have a heifer actually last year who, um, uh, so I'd bought them and the